hey y'all a friend of mine called me and said hey i've got a 1500 square foot wall i want you to put a mural on can you do me some sketches it, it's really cold outside so i'm inside drawing and painting Kay's in the other room painting some uh, stuff for her class i'm getting ready for some gigs for the spring this sketch I'm working on back here is for a friend of mine named Robbie. He owns a couple of restaurants and a bar over there in Joshua, Texas. It's almost like I'm making a postcard, but it's 20 foot tall by 75 feet wide. I want to put like welcome here. I want it to be a, a like a postcard, like an old railroad postcard. And anybody that knows about railroads knows that they used to make really cool travel posters, especially the Santa Fe Railroad. So I'm kind of playing into that. So when you're sitting at the uh, railroad crossing, as the train's going by you here, I'm hoping that uh, people will look over and see this and get a whole visual history of the city and what's going on. This area around North Texas used to have a train track that would go all the way to Fort Worth. And it was really important so that when they put the depot and the train tracks in there, these towns sprouted up. So now here, 100 years later, this building that this mural will go on is right next to the train tracks. My uh, client and friend Robbie said, use blue and white colors and we are the owl. So if you can put an owl in there, uh, that'd be great. He said, we also have longhorns in uh, cattle industry here. So I'm putting a, cat, a cow in there. Oh, anyway, so I'm doing a tribute to cowboys and how the land was in uh, traditional Texas. A lot of times while I'm doing this sketching process, I'm, my mind's kind of wandering because a lot of it's just fill in. I've got it up here on the wall because uh, what I'm actually doing it for is a giant wall. So I want to see what it looks like when you're standing in front of it, not just laying flat on a table. This thing's going to be huge. It's 1,500 square feet, so it's going to be a big dude. Once I put it up here on the drawing paper. Uh, then I start piecing it together. It also includes me tearing some off and repositioning things. And uh, I send it over to my friend Robbie who owns the building. He's gonna now look at it. He'll probably call me back and say, hey, could you put my mom and dad in there or something else? And then he'll send it to the city and they'll say, well, what about that old uh, uh, pumpkin that made us so famous? I don't know if it was a pumpkin. Somebody may have a really cool photo of uh, somebody important to the town that they want to add to it. On the second step, I can redo the whole sketch and I'll do a master painting at a scaled down version. Like if this building is 75 feet wide by 20 feet tall. I'll do an illustration that's 20 inches tall by 75 inches wide in full color once we get all the images we want and then do a color painting. And then when we do the giant mural, I have a team that comes out and helps me paint them. So I want to do the next illustration in full color so everybody knows exactly what they're getting. So when we get it on the wall, we're just reproducing that next scale version. If you live in Joshua, Texas, you're going to be super proud of this. This is going to become a landmark and a postcard for you and all your family to come and get your pictures made, especially if they're coming in from out of town and you want to be proud of your town. <laughs>